here's how to use Yahoo Finance to track your stocks. So let's just go to, we're at uh, Google right now, and type in Yahoo Finance. Now, why would you wanna do this? Well, Yahoo Finance allows you to put an app on your phone so you can just tap it and you'll see your portfolio total at any minute during the day. It's fantastic to have, especially uh, if you're buying and selling. Um, now, as far as US stocks, um, it's pretty up to date. As with Canadian stocks though, it's way off base. Um, they don't have a good read on it. It's about 10 minutes behind. So just know that. But for US stocks, terrific. All right, so we are at Yahoo Finance. Um, let's go to My Portfolio. So what you have to do is input the stocks that you have. So let's do that. So we're gonna go to uh, Create Portfolio over here. And we have to come up with a name. So maybe this is like a dividend portfolio. You wanna make some sweet, sweet cash. Uh, dividend, sweet, sweet cash maker. Um, let's uh, capitalize the first letter of each word because we are serious about making cash. It just shows that. Um, all right. <laughs> dividend, sweet, sweet cash maker. Uh, you determine what currency you want it in. Mine's in Canadian. Uh, but it can be anything. It can be Uzbekistan some. It can be Venezuelan Boulevard, Vietnamese Dong, uh, whatever you like, you put in there. Let's just stick with uh, US dollars and submit. All right. So then you're going to get this screen. It says your list is empty. Add symbols to get relevant news. So we're going to click add symbol. Now, if I were looking to get some sweet, sweet cash uh, from a blue chip company, I might want to start off with AT&T. The ticker is T. I intend to buy actually more of this, although they have a lot of debt. <laughs> but I don't think they're going to cut their dividend. So let's click that. And there we go. So we have AT&T in there. What else would we like to add to our little sweet, sweet cash maker? I'm going to click left click, add symbol. And what else is really good? Wells Fargo gives a good dividend. Let's go Wells Fargo. It's WFC is the ticker. Left click it. And now we have them both in there. Um, we're going to add a lot, meaning our shares. How many shares do you have? Uh, first, just a real quick check here. I want to see what the dividend on AT&T is. It is 6.77. That's so juicy. <sighs> okay, so that's a good one. I want more of that. And we want uh, Wells Fargo. I think it's her. Holy mother. It's 6.74. Are you kidding me? What in the world? I didn't know it was that high. Oh, even And it's been on a bit of a tear here. So, uh, okay. Um, now let's go back and let's add shares. So you're listening to the video. Um, you buy Wells Fargo because I put it in here. Do not do that. I am not a financial advisor at all. So this is just for entertainment. But if you were on your own, um, you went, uh, oh, yeah, we, don't have to, we don't have to go there. Let's go back. All right, let's go to add lot. And let's say you bought 10 shares. You input it in here. You can hit 10 and then enter. Um, and you can also use these up and down arrows to manually click your way in. Then close it like so, and we have 15 in there. All right, let's add some to our AT&T. We're gonna click, oh, no, sorry. <laughs> we don't have to click that. I've already seen the dividend. And did you see how it updated uh, what your portfolio is worth? It's up there, 498. Um, so that's what 15 shares is. So let's go add lot, and let's say you added um, 1,000 shares <laughs> of AT&T. Oh my God, what would the dividend be on a thousand shares. Uh, so it is, sorry, I'm just going off on a tangent here, but 6.77% uh, of, let's go to the calculator. Um, let's quickly do this, this is hilarious. Okay, so what was it, 6.77%? Uh, all right, so we just put in a thousand, no, that's not right. So a thousand times the price of the stock would be $30.73. So 30, 
what was it? 75 times a thousand shares. So you just spent $30,750 on AT&T stock. Um, and then you get a dividend for the year, which they pay four times quarterly. Um, they split that up. So let's go times uh, 0 0.0677, I think it was, equals. So you would get paid $2,000, 2000 just over $2,000 over the year. Um, and let's say they don't pay monthly. Uh they do it quarterly so you would get paid uh divide that by four you'll get four uh payments to your bank account to your um stock account um but let's go what are you getting a month on that sucker you are getting 173 dollars a month by putting thirty thousand dollars in i just went off on a tangent there i would love to have a thousand shares of at&t are you kidding me all right so uh, let's go to, it says in your watch list, portfolio. It should show up in here now. Our dividend sweet, sweet cash maker. Um, let's click that. And we have, oh yeah, because <laughs> we spent $30,000 on at and So our portfolio is up here. Um, so what you'll also want to do is you want to go on your phone and go to the app store and download the Yahoo Finance app, at which point you will uh, you'll put in your... Oh, that's one thing I forgot to, to mention. You'll need a Yahoo account. So I just used my Yahoo Mail account. Um, and you then can sign up for this thing. So you do have to open a Yahoo account. Uh, if you guys really want me to show you how to open a Yahoo Mail account, I could. I could. Comment below, but I'm guessing you could pull that part off. Um, and then... When on your phone, with the app, you just put in your Yahoo uh, mail, uh, your you know your email, and the total will always be updated. It's fantastic. I love it. I use it for my... I have a Make It Rain <laughs> account here. It hasn't been raining much lately. Uh, my dividends have been getting cut, some of them. Some of my risky ones. Um, but anyways, so there's my total on this little account. And it tells you the day gain, how much you made for the day or how much you're down um but guys yeah if this helped anyone out there please give me a like a comment and subscribe and hit that bell and i'll keep doing videos like this because i love yahoo finance i really do i've been using it for about two years it's fantastic uh i wish i updated the canadian stocks as fast as the u.s stocks um but anyways guys so i will talk to you guys later cheers bye